Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is um, Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023. Let's take a look at the Doge to Tether at Zonda Crypto Exchange. As you can see, I'm using the Japanese uh, candlesticks. There is no indications, you know, indications whatsoever on this <coughs> chart right now. We are going to add some. Nevertheless, the particular interest we got in, in the Doge recently was the recent spike here uh, to the upside towards the level of one, uh, 0.1, uh, 0.1398. So that spike uh, was uh, very sudden, of course, it was um, very, very aggressive, but we didn't actually hit the technical resistance, which is located at one point, uh, sorry, at 0.1679, neither we hit the other last uh, swing high located at one point. Mm, 1.1608 uh, all right so it looks like this market uh, wants to go up nevertheless uh, the situation here with the with the spikes to the upside might be a little bit mm, confusing for most of the mm, of the people because price spiked up and then returned back into the consolidation zone so where is the important technical support on the other hand the important technical support is located at one uh, sorry 0 0.046 so pretty uh, pretty low uh, compared to the technical uh, resistance so the recent spike was actually uh, a big nice spike to the upside there is n the nearest technical support however is 0 0.056 okay so this is where we are heading uh, right uh, now we can even uh, add one more thing to our chart which is of course the uh, short-term trend line as you can see this trend line had been violated already and the market keeps going lower uh, below this uh, this trend line local technical resistance is still located around the level of uh, let's say 0 0.0871 so this is that uh, that level and the local technical uh, support is located still around the level of one uh, 0 point oh um, uh, six sixty three so if we break below this level then the major technical support is exposed for exposed for a for a test uh, basically so we can see another movement um, towards this level and uh, bears testing the strength of this technical uh, support let me just add one more uh, indicator this is of course the rsi indicator and this indicator is showing us that the market went up but it created a bearish divergence between this swings here so the price was doing something different and the in momentum indicator was doing something different which is why the recent movement to the upside might be uh, considered as a uh, you know uh, a bearish uh, to be honest because we got this uh, we got this uh, bearish divergence be between the price and what is momentum indicator doing now we are hovering just below the level of 50 so we are testing the neutral uh, neutral level and there is still space to the downside here there's a room to the downside here there's a room to the downside on the rsi so any extension of the breakout below this uh, short-term trend line might likely uh, result in increased uh, let's say a uh, pressure from the uh, from the supply side of the market and as i said first test of the intraday uh, resistance is uh, support 1.065 uh, and 94 and then eventually the a test of another technical support 0.0564 uh, mm, itself so it looks like um the market is under the bearish uh, bearish pressure as it coming uh, as it coming uh, off the extremely overbought uh, levels nice try bulls but it didn't actually it it was wasn't enough for the market to rally higher and break uh, somewhere uh, above the level of uh, 0 0.15 or 0 0.16 uh, whatsoever so maybe next time if you try harder we can have another very nice spike to the upside maybe even sustained a spike to the upside as we already know that the dodge is very very susceptible for any tweets uh, any uh, social action from one of the most popular social trading uh, platforms so we are still waiting for another spike uh, to the upside that can happen anytime soon.
that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye